We're going to have a look at a, a Year 9 class. They've not long been doing their GCSE in biology and we've been studying a topic called healthy eating. And today's lesson is the first of two lessons on fast food. And I'm particularly interested today in them testing a veggie burger and a uh, regular burger for fat and salt. And I'm quite interested in them whether they can do the tests and we're starting to explore how good or how valid these tests are, as well as them actually gaining some results about uh, whether there's fat and salt in the, the burgers themselves. They're a year nine mixed ability group. Um, there's a full range of ability in there as measured by their national curriculum tests. And um, it, it requires, uh, I think, intervention at the planning stage and on the individual level. And um, there's pupils in there that can just about see the board as well as some very able pupils. Right, well done everybody. Okay, nice to see you all back after sports day, okay. Uh, who are my superstars here on Friday? Who's the lesson? Becky. Can you remind us, because you, you were telling me all sorts of things about the lesson Friday. Can you remember what we did Friday? Burn crisps. We burned crisps, okay. And what was the whole point of burning crisps? Can you remember? To see the energy what comes off. See the energy that comes off. Okay, very, very good. All right, now what I want you to do is very, very quickly, 30 seconds, just very quickly, talk in your group. Why is it important that we get energy? Why is it important that we eat crisps, let's say? Right, go, 30 seconds. <laughs> On me, please. Two, one. Okay, fantastic. Anybody from Megan's table there, please? What idea did you have about why we should eat food? Why? Yeah. So, like, if you're running or anything, like, like if you're doing sports day, yep. and you need the most of the amount of energy so you can run fast. Okay, so you had the magic word there, energy. Okay, very, very good. What about Lucy's table? Did you get any other different ideas there, please? Um, you might need energy to live, basically. Energy to live, and those people, you were in lesson on Friday, weren't you? What? Only halfway because I had to... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's right, you had a problem with your, with your sports thing, didn't you? That's right, okay. What, what do we mean by live? Like, if when you don't we have are... any... Sleeping. So, David, do we need energy when we're sleeping? Yeah. Of course we do, because what's happening, Lucy, in our body when we're sleeping? So what's happening here? Heart beating. And, and the heart needs... Energy, very, very good indeed. All right, today's lesson is about fast food, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to do some tests on some foods and we're going to think about is fast food any good? Because, you know, there's a, big, there's a big thing about it being good. And we're going to think about the difference between something called a qualitative and a quantitative test, all right? And not all of us are going to get that far, all right? But I know a lot of us will. Okay, on your table... Can you grab one of those for me, please, all right? And we're going to play fastest finger first, OK? So you need to grab one of those. OK, everybody got it? OK. Now I'm going to put five, some questions up on the board here, OK? And as soon as you've got the answer, hand up, all right? Finger up, fastest finger, OK? So first person on which table, what's the first word in the third line? OK, Becky. Ice. Ice. No, no, no. I don't know. Oh, Frankie. Which one? Do no, Doctor. Doctor Mac. Mac, Mac, Mac. First one, yeah, Sarah. Chocolate. Chocolate. What's that? Chocolate. 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 Very good. Well done. Okay. Oh, right, what's the last word on the tenth line? Fastest finger. Last word on the tenth line. Kim. Which one? Size. Fantastic. Eleventh word in the eighteenth line. Eleventh <coughs> word in the eighteenth line. Fastest finger. Cool. Yeah, Sarah. A. A. A? Just think. Is it V? V? Okay. Oh, obesity. Okay. Right. What are the 16th and the 17th words on the 12th line? So we're looking for two words this time. The 16th and the 17th words on the 12th line. 
Okay. One of them down. One of them down. Down. Yeah. Kim? In London. In London. What? So if you're right, I've got snack culture. All right, and what about how much is a Domino's large pizza? <coughs> Excuse me. How much is a Domino's large pizza? More money. On what lines? Oh, you've got to find it. Um, Kim? 9.99. 9.99. How good was that, Kim? Fantastic. You were really, really quick. Well done. Now then, what I want you to do now is work as a team on your table, okay? And what I want you to do is to find the answers to those questions. So when did chocolate bars, ice creams, crisps, snacks and takeaway foods start to gradually increase in size? And what I want you to do is one person to write the answers on the show me boards, okay? Right, come on, let's go. Okay, so that's number one then, okay? okay. Right, you do all, all four. So put four on the board, okay? All right? When you think you've got it, board up, okay? So we're working together. Okay, as a team, okay, so number one, no. you only need one answer. Have you got all four? No. Okay, it's the first one. Find me the other three for me, please, Frankie, yeah? Oh, okay. Okay, and uh, all the answers go on one board. Okay, have we got number two yet? What were diets filled with sugar and fat being blamed for? Um. Okay, we've got about one more minute. One more minute. So we can find that information. Number two is heart. Okay, I'm hearing some good answers over here. Okay, what are we doing over here? One. Why don't, you, why don't you split this up? Get David to look for number three and Sarah to... Okay, split it up. Look for different questions, all right? Yeah? Hey, this looks good over this side. Very good. Let's find that last one. Very good. Let's find that last few, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. Okay, so I made that about 20 seconds to go, yeah? Okay, got it? Wicked. Well done. Fantastic. All right, ready? Let's see those boards. Okay, we're going to hold up what we got then. Okay, fantastic. Right, now what I want you to do is show everybody your answers. So swap the answers around. Yeah, and I think we've got quite a lot of agreement in some of it. Yeah? Right, who got four out of four? Who got four out of four? Us. 1970s, obesity epidemic, heart disease and salts. We got four out of four. We got great answers here. Fantastic. How many did you get? Two out of four. That's very good. Lucy, four out of four. And what about Justine's table? One out of four. One out of four. Okay. All right. Just put the pens and the rubbers down for me, please. Eyes on me. Okay? Eyes on me. Right. Well done, these tables. Very, very good indeed. Well done. Sorry. In that quick time we looked at this little newspaper article, what do you think it was saying? What was the article about? What was it all about? Got you to look at some of those words, find out a little bit about it. What do you think that article was about? Okay, we've got the same people. Okay, let's have a few more people. Have a go. Rob, come on. See if you can do it. Okay. Um, um, chocolate bars and like, fast food are blamed for being like, getting like, people becoming obese and stuff. Okay, Kim, what are you going to say? Well done. Um, that all the fatty foods were made in the 1970s. 
Okay, so we've got we've got a lot of fatty food starting to be, be come out in 1970. Very, very good. Frankie, what were you going to say, please? I was just going to say that it's kind of telling you about how um, how the foods are taking over people's lives and people getting too unhealthy because they've like fallen in love with it. Okay, so there's something, something to do with snacky food, chocolate food in the last 30 odd years or so. Okay, and what are these people doing to the size of the snacks? Making them bigger. Okay, how many people go into the local burger place and say, supersize me? Mm. Yeah, I'm sure we all do it, don't we? Yeah. So, I went down to the, uh, to the burger place on, uh, on the weekend. And I bought myself a burger. All right. Now, this is fresh from Saturday. Uh, and even better than this, Fresh veggie burger from the canteen, fresh from Friday. How good is this going to be? Yeah. And what we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at what's in one of these fantastic veggie burgers that Sir makes down in the canteen, and we're also going to have a look at a burger. Yeah. Now what we're going to do, if you have a look up on the board, is we're going to work in our groups. So you're going to work as a team, if you like, to find out if the burgers contain fat and salt. Okay? Now, I don't know about you, but one of my favourite bits in the burger is the gherkin. I love yeah. the gherkin. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah? Now, the trouble is, is that in my veggie burger, I've got no gherkin. So what have we got to do if we're going to accurately compare these burgers? What are we going to do? David, what do you think I've got to do to this one if I'm going to accurately compare it to the other one? I'm going to do what with it? Take out the gherkin. Right, now it breaks my heart to do this, but I'm going to kind of get all this stuff out, yeah? So there's all that stuff there, all right? So it's all gone, all right? And I'm going to scrape all that all off as best I can. My burger. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut our burgers up into four, like that. And what you're going to do is test your quarters for fat and salt, okay? Now then, the first thing you need to do is to grind up the burger. Now, I reckon there's two bits to this. There's the kind of bread bit, and then there's the burger bit. So somebody's going to have to take charge of the bready bit, and someone's going to have to take charge of the burgery bit, all right? So what you do, Eyes on me, please. What you do is put some water in there. Okay, does it matter how much we use? Yeah. yeah. No. No. Yeah. As, Rob, shout it out as long as. There's always the same. Same, that magic word beginning with V. V O. Volume. Very good, wherever that came from. Very good. And the way to break these is do that. So we don't really want to do that. So. Nice, and you're gonna make a mush. You're gonna make a mush burger, all right? And then when we've done that, when we've done that, we need to kind of get rid of the solid bits. So we're gonna do, what's that word beginning with F? Filter. Filter it, okay? And you can do it by collecting your filtrate like that, okay? So you need to split up into teams. Someone's going to have to take the veggie burger, someone's going to have to take the beef burger or the hamburger. Okay, right, 30 seconds, split the work up. Decide, please, okay? Right, take a piece of, take a piece of burger. All right. Right, take a piece of burger. All right. That's the veggie burger. Separate out the burger from the bun. What do you want? Yeah, help yourself with the stuff on the front. Right. Burger. 
Okay, and take the veggie burger. Just take a piece. Okay, that's right, it's just the one I've used, that's it, okay? Alright, there you go, use those, alright? Okay, you know what you're doing, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Eyes on me, please. Okay, fantastic. Now then, once we've ground up the burger with Rob's same volume of water, okay, you've got some tests to do. Now the instructions are on the board, okay, but I'll come round and help you with that bit, okay? All right, any questions? Yeah. yeah. The water, we've got, there's some in the tap, there's a tap there you can use, tap there. Okay, any more questions? Okay, we, what's the matter? I'll come and help you. Right, we've got, we've got about 10 minutes, okay? Right, let's go. Take the bread off, do the bun and the bread separately, all right? Uh, sorry, the bun and the burger separately, all right? So you're going to make a mush of that, okay? And then you're going to filter that one, and then you're going to make a mush of that. You need to put some water in, Lucy, all right? Yeah? Don't forget your water, Rob, yeah? yeah? Okay, probably a bit more in there, I should think. You need to make it fairly soupy. All right? Okay. <laughs> right, are you going to do this one? Okay. Separate. Separate them out. Separate the bun and the burger. What have you done, Justine? <laughs> It's not going to kill me, is it, eh? Right, there you go. All right? Put some more water in. Here, come here. Just like that, all right? There you go. No, no, no. <laughs> bit more water, bit more water. Make sure you tell Stefano how more water. All right. Looks like porridge. Okay. Like a soup, so you can, because you're not going to be able to pour that through there otherwise. So you need to put more, some more water in. Water, yeah. All right. How are we doing down here? Hey, wicked Lucy, that's fantastic. Right, well done. Let's have a look. Right, give it, give it, give it a go. Yeah, let's give it a good old mush up, yeah? Like that. There you go. All right, keep going, all right? Was it discus you did Friday? All right, well, use those muscles you used for a discus. You give it a good old pound in there, yeah? Bit more water, Becky, yeah? Make it more soupy. All right, more soupy. Hey, that's wicked. Right, now, now filter that through, all right, yeah? All right, more water. More water. Let's have a look. I would put a little bit more in, a little bit more water. A little bit more, yeah. A little bit more. That's it, give it a good old pound there, that's it. Okay, let's have a look, David, please. Bit more water, please, all right, yeah? Bit more water. Do what? That's fantastic. Okay, where you go, right, filter, all right? And then what you'll need to do is then, if, if you take care of that and give the other burger to Kim and she can mash that up ready for the next test, all right, yeah? Give him a quick rinse, yeah? I think what I would do, Rob, is put a bit more water in because then you can increase the pressure in there, yeah? All right? Wicked. Right, now you're going to filter it. Can you remember how to fold the filter paper? Okay, go on then. 
Okay, and now it's David. That's fantastic, David. Well done. I would still put a bit more water in there. Uh, would it liquid? Yeah. So, in, and then, and then we count to. Then we count to. How many steps do we take? To open up the filter paper. That's it. That's it. Right. Shall I show you a magic trick? Then stop it falling out. I see even, even magic, no water, fantastic. There's water on the left, and that one is going that way. There you go. Right, it'll stop it falling out now. Okay, there you go. Right. Who's, call, who's calling me? Yeah, what's up, Becky? You need more water. It's a lovely mush, but you need some more water in there. All right, more water. I will put a bit more water in. Oh more water. That's fantastic. Filter it through. Filter it through. Perfect. Yep. Just push that. Like that. Okay. That's it. Right, away you go. Well done. Well done. Filter it through. Right, Kavisa, what are we up to? What are you doing? There you go. All right, it's job for you. All right. I tell you what, this table's the business here, and this one here. Fantastic. How are we doing at the back? What we got? That's lovely, Kim. Right, filter it through for me. What have we run out of? Funnels. Have I got any more funnels? What's happened? I've got to Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's perfect. That's perfect there. Okay. Right, filter that through. Okay. We need to have our filtering done in about two or three minutes, please, okay? Two or three minutes. More water. More water. You can see what you need here, yeah. Can you just pop into there for me and get me some more filter funnels, please, just then, yeah? Just ask, we just need some more of these. Just ask Miss for some more filter funnels. For these? Yeah, please, yeah. Thanks. Okay, you ready to filter? Oh, we can't, we haven't got the thing, have we? Yeah, okay. Right, I reckon you've got enough here. All right, so what you'll need to do is take that out and filter the next one. Uh, it goes in the food waste. Fantastic, use those please, excellent. Okay. How are we doing over here? Fantastic. Oh, just in there, that's fine, cool. Give it a quick rinse, Rob, yeah? Right, let's get filtering. Let's get filtering. That's beautiful. Right, come on in, let's filter. Filter. Fine, filter. Just leave it on the table for a minute. All right, filter it through. You get your paper in there. Right, how's, how's my super group coming? OK, we'll put some more in the top. We've got about two minutes, guys, please. Two minutes to get those filtering done. One. Pass. Can you finish it off? Now I've shown you that bit. Some more water. No, 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 no. Half, half, and now open into three. One, two, three. Open. All right. Now I'll show you the trick. Yeah. Sticks. Got it. Fantastic. Okay, that's brilliant. Right. Use one of these. Filter it through. Put some more water on top. Water on top. Okay. 
Put it underneath. Might need some more water. One minute, please. One minute. One minute. I need you sat down by the end of the countdown, please, Kay. All right, we'll deal with it in a second. Quick roll, please. Okay, fantastic. Eyes on me, please. Eyes on me. Lisa, just put your um, bits and pieces down for a sec and eyes on me, okay? Excellent, thank you very much indeed. Now then, if we haven't all got to that point, that's fine, okay? I think we've got enough between us. That's okay, no problem. Right, now then, we just need to make sure, because you've got to do the test next to make sure to find out what's, what's going on in these foods, okay? Now, I've got something here that I know contains oil, okay? Cooking oil, it is oil, exactly, right? <laughs> so what I'm going to do, now I'm going to do this quick, right? But you're going to do it much better than me, okay? So there's my sort of known oil. And what I'm going to do is on your table, there are some little bottles of ethanol. OK? Now, just leave them for a second, David. Yeah, eyes on me, and you can do that in a minute. All right? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to pour... How much up on the board does it say? How much ethanol are we going to use? Five centimetres. Five cubic centimetres. Very, very good. Right, I'm going to do it quicker to speed up things. But if I put in... Five, something like that, and then I'm going to do the shake like that. Now then, what's happened to that? Cloudy. It's gone cloudy, hasn't it? Okay, like a milky colour. That's right. Very, very good. Okay, and then just to make sure, I'm just going to put a little bit of water in on top, and that is a very positive test for oils and fats, this cloudy colour. It's what we call an emulsion. So that's easy peasy. So you're going to do that on your bread and your burger, OK? Now then, the second test is a salt test. So I'm very, very quickly. There's some salt. In fact, quite a lot of salt there. And a lot of salt. Shake it up. Right. I've put far too much salt in there. Far too much. Let's try that again. OK. Now, on the back bench there and on the front bench here, there's another chemical called silver nitrate. And all you're going to do is you're going to... How many drops did it say put on, put on there? Uh, five. Five drops. Five. OK, so we're going to use the little droppers then. OK, clear to start with. One, two, three, four, five. What's happened? It's gone, it's gone cloudy again. So we're looking for cloudiness in our tubes, OK? Are we all clear what to do? Yeah. Fantastic. Don't forget your specs for the ethanol, please. You've got five minutes to tell me what's in these burgers. Right, come on, let's go. Well done, David. Good lad. Yeah, Becky, thank you very much. There you go. Thanks, Laura. Emily, thank you. Anybody else for specs? Specs, 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 specs. specs. So you're going to put your ethanol in. Yeah, that's right. How much does it say? Five cubic centimetres. Five. You can use those. That's perfect, yeah, because it tells you on the side. What's it say on the side? It 
It's about it's about two of those, all right? Two squirts. So fill it up, squirt it in. Yeah, sorry. What do we do? So here you're going to you need to split that, don't you? Because you've got two tests to do. Yeah. All right, so you're going to split that, yeah, and in one you're going to do a sort test, and one you do a fat test, all right? Okay. Hasn't gone cloudy. Right, now what does that maybe starting to tell you? Okay, now remember my little bit of water I put in at the top? Here, put some water in just to double check it. Right, that could just go in the bowl there, David, all right, yeah? Okay, give it a shake. Yep, that's your ethanol, isn't it? Yeah, well done. In it goes. Fantastic. Right, give it the shake. All right. That's it. Big old shake. That's it. Hit it. That's fantastic. Right. Test it. Okay, all right. If it's not gone cloudy, what have you learned from that? Okay, do the next test. Do the next test. Yeah. How do you do it? How far have we got? Okay, that's a wicked. Right, now what you need to do is to put some ethanol. Split that in two for me, Lucy. Okay, you're going to do two tests, aren't you? All right. So put, put half of that in one tube, Lucy, please, yeah? Half of that into your, into your clean tube. Just put it on the table for a minute. We can tidy up later. All right. Fantastic. Okay, pop that in there. Yeah? Okay, half, 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 half. It's all right. Okay, wicked. Right, now then, what you're going to do is put a couple of squirts of that. <laughs> It would have been easier to measure it, wouldn't it? Never mind, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Right, here you go. Two squirts of that into that tube. All right? And again. Okay, and Lucy's going to give it the big shake. Okay. Hold it at the top. Now, now hit it. Fantastic. Hey, that's terrific. Okay, we're going to put some water in. I'll get you some water. Where's my water gone? There you go. Put a squirt of water in the top. What are we looking to see if it's got fat in it? See if it goes. Okay, go on in. Okay, give it another shake. Do it later. Right. <laughs> right, how far have we got? Okay, right, let's put this. Sorry about that. In it. Oh, what a mess, what a mess. Don't worry about that. Miss is going to kill me for that, never mind. We'll deal with that. Okay, what you're going to do is, let's get rid of this. Okay, put a squirt of that in there. You do need goggles. I'll get you some goggles. Got some goggles, fantastic, okay. Okay, pop them on then. Squirt that in there. Do the same, exactly the same. Yeah? Put your specs on. That's it. Well done. That's it. How much are we putting? Is that mouth? Go on. Oh, a big one, big squirt. Fantastic. Right, now give, it, now give it the shake. No. I wouldn't give you stuff that hurt you. Here, look. At the top, hit it. All right. OK, we're going to put some water in. Going cloudy? OK. That's fantastic. Right, do the same for me. Yeah? Two more test tubes. Go through. Ask Miss. OK. No, no. Yeah. Ethanol. 
if you're very, very quick, because all you need to do is put the five drops in, don't you? Do it. Okay, very, very quickly. Five drops of what? Of that stuff called silver nitrate. Remember this stuff? I thought it was salt. Okay. I thought you did it with salt. Did it with salt? Yeah, but then she's adding more salt, isn't it? How many drops? Two. Five. OK, we've got 30 seconds, please. 30 seconds. If you haven't finished, it's OK. It's OK. It's OK. Yeah, just just observe it, and that's fine. Okay, all right. Five. What you sat down, please. Four, three, two, one. Okay, just put all the apparatus down on the table for me, please. Eyes on me, please. Eyes on me. OK. Now then, what I want you to do, please, on your board, OK, and you might need more than one board to do this, I want you to write down... OK, we've got pens. OK, so eyes on me, please. Eyes on me, please. Okay, well done, thank you. Right, on the board, I want you to write down what your group has found out. So it's a group answer. What have you learnt from the tests, okay? You probably need to discuss that, okay? Right, we need to show the boards in about three minutes. Okay, three minutes. As long as you hold it up, you can explain it. That's fine, all right, yeah? Two minutes, please. Two minutes. Two minutes. What have we learnt? What have we found out? Sorry? Fat. Fat, yes. Is it salt Okay, if that's what you've learned, that's what you've learned. Okay. Okay, I'll make it about one more minute, please. One more minute. Then we're going to hold the boards up, okay? Okay, looks great, David. Okay, just hang on a second then. Right, it's looking good, everybody. Well done. Well done. Okay. The what? Sorry. Oh, you want to test for it? Yeah. Okay, hang on a sec. There you go. Alright. Oh. We're going to find out in a minute. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, looking good this table. 6, 5, 4, 3, pens down please. 2, 1. Okay, can you show me your boards, please? All right, show me the boards. Okay, and I'm just going to do a quick sample. Okay, so um, bur McDonald's burgers have less fat than veggie burgers, but McDonald's burgers have more salt than veggie burgers. We have learnt from the experiment that the bun from the meat burger contains fat and salt, and the burger itself contains salt as well. 
David, please get your fingers out of the way. We found out that the veggie burger has more fat than the McDonald's hamburger. McDonald's burger, more salt, veggie burger, more fat. My group has found out that the McDonald's bun has salt in it and the veggie burger doesn't have as much salt. Okay, my group has found out that the McDonald's bun has salt in it and the veggie burger doesn't have as much. And a couple from here, we learned that there is salt and fat in both veggie and beef burgers. And there's a big picture. Show us your, show us your picture. Full of fat and salt. Okay, fantastic. Now then, now then. Okay, pens down on the uh, table, please. Just put your things down, please, and eyes on me. Eyes on me. Eyes on me, please. Okay. Megan, quick, please. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, sorry. Okay. Next lesson. You've told me about two things today. We found out about two different kinds of burgers and what's in it. Eyes on me, please. Pens down. Thank you very much. Wednesday's lesson is going to pick up on that. Okay? And what I'm really, really interested in is how important is it that these things got fat and salt in it? And is it good or is it bad? Okay? And did we really... Did we really find out how much fat? Or did we just find out yeah. it had fat? All right, and that's where we're going to pick up. Okay, last thought with you. Okay, we didn't quite get to this. Jamie Oliver, right? He's done a lot of work, as you probably know, on school dinners. Okay, thought to leave you with. Was Jamie Oliver right to do what he did? Okay, you don't know what he did. Our canteen's a lot better for what he did. All right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think so. Really yeah. enough, really. he, put, he put my health and stuff in and then took all the fatty foods That's out. it, yeah. But that's bad for kids that... Well, that's, that's a discussion we can have. Happy to have that discussion. Maybe do that Wednesday, okay? <laughs> all right. You've been absolutely fantastic, everybody. Can you just pile the boards and everything together on your table for me to make that easy and then we get ready to go? And behind your places, please. Thanks, Lucy. And behind your places, please. Sarah, as a group, how hard do you think we worked today at 10? Oh, that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good indeed. OK. What's the fastest food you can get? Scone. Oh, you <laughs> ruined it. Thank you very much. Right, fastest food. Scott. Right, see you Wednesday. Bye. Thanks, David. How are you getting on with this? A few yeah, well, it's good today. All right, well done. Pleased with that. And the way you did your practical was fantastic. Really pleased. All right, you pleased? Yeah. Good lads, well done. Okay, what lesson you got next? Uh, All right, okay, well, make sure you find out and get a good report, yeah? Okay, good lads, keep it up. The, the starter activity was a way to get them to engage with some text. Um, I particularly like that idea to actually get to, get to grips with a large amount of text very, very quickly. And, and some of the words that we chose were words that they may have used in the lesson and will be using. Um, in terms of the practical, it, it always seems to take longer than you actually plan for when they're doing these things. Um, but in the end, we got to the end of the practical, we got some results, um, and I'm very, very interested to, to find out what they've learned. The show me boards tell, tell me that so I know where to take that on next lesson. I, I, th I think that the, the pupils are very much on task, um, as a general rule. That there's, there's about two or three 
individuals, shall we say, that uh, you, you need to kind of stay on and who perhaps lack a little bit of motivation compared to the majority of the group. But in general terms, I was very, very pleased. And again, the show me boards tell me that they have actually learned and we can take it on from here.